Hello and welcome to this CM Builder tutorial where we will look at the CM Builder platform homepage, also known as the company workspace. On the left hand side of your screen, you have the side panel. At the top of the panel, you can see your company account name. Below that, you have your page tabs. The first tab is the company projects tab, which is open by default when you are on the homepage. You can view all your projects on this screen. Note that the project window has two tabs, active and archived. An active project is a project that users are currently working on. Active projects are both read and write enabled, meaning you can edit and share them. Whereas an archived project is a read only, meaning you cannot edit or share it. You can move your projects across these tabs by clicking the three dots on the project card and selecting the archive or unarchive option respectively. Note, this archives or activates a project for everyone on your account. You can also use these buttons to switch between the list view and the current tile view of your projects. Next, below the company projects is the company settings page tab. Here you have access to a range of settings that you can set and customize at the company level. You may have limited access to the various settings tabs based on your user permissions. I am an admin in this account, which means I can access and edit all the account settings. In general settings, under the date and time format section, you can set your default company date and time formats. In the domain section, you will see your company's registered email domain. Any user added to your account who has a different email domain will be a guest user. Customers with an enterprise subscription could have the option to add additional registered email domains. Next, you will see your single sign-on settings, available with our premium and enterprise subscriptions. The next settings tab is the branding tab. This is also available to our premium and enterprise customers. This feature allows you to add your company or other custom logos, such as your clients. These logos would then be used to brand the resources in your site plan or be displayed in the final presentation view. In the Unit Preferences tab, admins can customize their unit preferences for the account. Next is the User Management Settings where an admin can invite new users, create teams, and customize roles and permissions. To invite a new user, click on the Invite Users button, and then enter the user email address along with the role you want to assign to them. As an admin, you can view and manage integrations for the company account. You can also manage your CM Builder subscription by clicking the respective tab. To go back to the home page, simply click the CM Builder icon. Now, let's look at some of the options on the top right side of the home page, starting with the help menu shown with the question mark symbol. The first item gives you access to the user guide via a side panel. You can switch to viewing it in a separate tab by pressing the open user guide in new tab button. Tutorial videos will open our playlist of YouTube tutorial videos, which includes the video you are watching right now. The support center is our one-stop knowledge base offering a wide range of learning materials, including user guide pages, links to our monthly user workshop videos, and more. The key shortcuts is where you can learn about keyboard and mouse controls and shortcuts. To submit a bug report, feature request, or a resource request, you can press the respective options. Click Book Demo for a quick intro to the platform. Click Book Support Session button for any help or support with the product. Our team is always happy to help. You can either select Support Session for specific queries or book an onboarding session, which is more of a deep dive for new users. Lastly, click the Let's Chat button to open the chat for any quick questions or help. You can ask our chatbot, which utilizes our user guide to answer your questions, or type Talk to a Human to talk to someone from our team. Next to the Help menu, you will see a menu with your initials. Click this button to access user settings, subscriptions, integrations, or to sign out. Click the User Settings button to pop open the menu. Note the settings here only apply to your individual account, unlike the company settings. Under the Profile tab, users can edit their name and view company details. Under the General tab, users can customize the date, time, and unit settings, based on individual preferences. At the bottom, you will also see experimental features with on-off toggle buttons. 
These are recent features that are still in beta phase, and you can try them by toggling them on. If you do, please send us your feedback. In the Import tab you have options to customize the settings for your model imports. Remove empty folders on Upload helps clean up your model tree for more convenient use in CM Builder. Below it, you see an option to customize the IFC element classes that are included as part of your model import. This applies to IFC and Revit models. For more optimal performance, we suggest excluding all elements that are not necessary for your work, such as furniture for example. Lastly, in the Integrations tab, you can log in to your individual ACC account allowing you to use the integration, assuming your admin has already set the integration up for the company. This covers all the essentials for the CM Builder homepage. In the next video we will look at how to create a new project.